Hello everyone, welcome back again to On How channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video request, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to create and add custom header to your Shopify store. So I was looking around on YouTube on other videos about this subject and I found most of the videos on YouTube they show you a lot of stuff, but not how to create or add custom header to the Shopify. And I saw a lot of people complaining on the comment section. So I'm not sure why do people post those videos to show you a bunch of stuff, but not how to create the header. Personally, I don't understand how people can do that. I have never made a clickbait or show people or talk about something that I will not show in the video. And if you are a subscriber of my channel, you already know that. So in this video, I will show you how to create and add custom header to your Shopify store. Actually, I do have example right now in front of me in the screen. I will show you how your store will look like after you implement the tricks that I will show you in this video. So you can see right now, if the things that I'm going to show you is not worth it, you can click off on the video and find another one. But to be honest, I don't think you can find a better video than this. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it and show you how your store will look like actually right now. Then we will start doing the tricks in order to get it just like I will show you right now. So as you can see, this is the Shopify store that I do uh, tricks and tutorials on. And if you just install the Shopify store and you're using the down team, this is how it looks like. I mean without the menus in here and so on and if you are interested in how to add the order tracking page which is where the customers will track your order the shipments and so on without having to use external website or any service make sure to check out my channel and make that video as well so as i said this is how your store will look like if you didn't customize or enable any options on the headers and so on and how your store will look like if you implement the tricks and the things i'm going to show you in this video this is how it will look like as you can see this is a header with a video on it and with description and so on and with a button and I mean clickable button that customers can click on and it take him to the products or whatever you set the button to redirect the customers on and this is the header right here with my own logo and so on and as well as this uh, notification bar right here it says welcome to on house store and the menu in here as you can see with categories and if you click on the each category it has a subcategory below it as you can see so now you know this is how your store will look like after you watch this video and we will not use any apps or anything like that all the things that will show you is by using your own standalone code so your shopify store will load much much faster than using uh, apps in order to do all of this and don't mind the down below in here this is just as i said the example store that i do tricks and tutorials on so don't bother with these by the way if you're interested in how to add the variants for product just like this with effects and so on with the pictures on the variants make sure to check out my channel and make that video as well and as well as the discount price right here as you can see for the pricing for the product Make sure to check out my channel. I did make a lot of videos and they can help you a lot in designing as well as finding products for dropshipping as well. So let's just scroll up and right now this is how your store will look like. And if you think this is not good and it doesn't look that good and it's not what you are looking for, then click out the video and sort of you're wasting like one minute or two minutes of your time. But if you think this is good and this is how you want to customize your Shopify store, then stick around. I will show you everything in this video. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. So let's just close all this and get back to Shopify dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to add the menus because let's just open up Shopify store again. And in here, as you can see, I do have those menus because I already set them up like a couple of weeks ago when I was making videos about how to create sub menus and so on. So in order to add these, all you need to do is head over to online store right here and after that click on navigations and click on main menu option right here. And after that it will show you all the options in here. For example, let's just say you want to add categories in here. So just add menu, click on add menu item right here, simply click on it and name it whatever you want. For example, categories. So let's just name it categories in here and below it, you should see search or pass the link. Simply click on it. It will show you all the options on your Shopify store, including the homepage, search, collections, products and pages and so on. So in order to create a category list or category pages, make sure to head over to pages first from here, from the left menu right here, then create a new page and name it as the name for the category, which is in my case foodware, as you can see. So I already did this. I'm just explaining how to do it if you are interested in doing it. And for my case, I don't have that page yet, as you can see. 
So I, I think I do. So let's just, for example, categories, let's just go for the home page and let's just click on add. And right now we have a category in here and let's just add another menu item. And this one will be one of the categories. So let's just say, for example, uh, watches, for example, and let's just click on search and click on pages. And in here, I should have created a page just for watches. And in the page, I will list all the products. If you are interested in that, make sure to watch my channel. All the things I'm mentioning or I'm saying right now, I did all of them videos about them. I'm just trying to focus this video on creating or customizing the header on your Shopify store. So let's just say jewelry, which is watches as well. And let's just do that. After that, in here, you will see categories and watches. And these two right here should be just like this one. So it should be added right here, another one on the left. However, we don't want that. We, not, we want it as a drop menu like this. In order to do that, simply click on the lines right here or the dot, sorry, simply click on it and drag a little bit to the right and let go, it should be below categories right now. So this will be a drop menu on your Shopify store, just like this one right here. This is how it looks like. And in order to add another step category under this one, for example, this one said four way, if I click on it, it will show me shoes. This is a step category under a category. In order to do that, simply add a new one, a new item in here. Let's just name it test, for example. And just for demonstration, let's just point it to the home page. This is just for demonstration, as I said. And right now, all you need to do the same trick. Simply click on the dots right here and drag this time again to the right and let go. And it will be a subcategory under the category of watches, just like you see right now. So that's how you set up the menu like this with categories and subcategories under it. And right now, let's just get over and show you how to customize all of these. Right now, you know how to add these. The most important thing in this video is how to customize the header and add the video with a button on it, as well as description and title that you can customize however you want. Because I don't know if you know this or not, Tip Customizer on Shopify will not let you add a video in here. It will only let you add a picture. But no worries, you are watching on how channel and everything is possible here. So let's just get back to the team customizer. Let's just click on online store. I will not actually save these. Let's just click on leave because I already have them as I said. So let's just click on customize. After that, actually we will not click on customize because as I said, the team customizer on Shopify will not let you do this. So we need to add another section and I mean a new section that doesn't exist on the team customizer that will let us add video banner to our Shopify header. In order to do that, you need to click on the three dots on the left of customize right here. Simply click on it and it will show you this menu and click on edit code. And no worries, I will provide you with my support. Even if you mess up something in here and you need help, just drop me a comment. As I said, I'm working for you. So after that, click on section right here because as I said, I need to add or we need to add section, a new section. So click on the folder that says sections in here and after that, click on add new section. And you should see this prompt right here which says the liquid or JSON, make sure to keep it as liquid. And liquid is actually the programming language uh, for Shopify, which is based on Ruby or Rails. And as I said, no worries, I will provide you with the full code. You just need to copy and paste it. So make sure, as I said, to pick liquid and the name, let's just name it background video, which is the background video. And make sure you do not include space in here. Let's just uh, write a dash between background and video. So just name it like this, just like I did, and click on done right here. And after that, it will automatically generate some code in here. So we don't need this. Make sure you do remove all of this. And after you remove all the code in here, scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as liquid banner section. Click on it and it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see all this code in here. So we need to copy this code. So let's just select it from the beginning right here and make sure you do select it from the first line to the end, which is like 800 something. Let me show, I'm not sure, let me check. Okay, faster, faster, come on, come on. Here it is, as you can see, it ends at 859. It ends with the end schema. So let's just right click on all of these and copy. Let's just do that again. I'm a little bit paranoid when it comes to copying. <laughs> Anyway, so let's just get back to Team Customizer or the Code Editor, sorry, and let's just paste in the code in this section right here. So let's just click on Save button. And right now we did add the video background section on Shopify store. And let's just close this and get back to the Shopify dashboard. And right now we need to click on Customize button right here. So simply click on it. So first we need to add the video banner, as I said, in here. 
then we will customize it including the text and the button and where the button is going to take the customer once he clicks on it as well as customizing the header which is this one right here including the colors and layout and the logo and everything else so let's just add the video banner first so let's just click on section add section right here at the bottom of the page click on it then click on view more and you will see video background right here section and this is and this is the section that we did add based on the call that I did provide you so simply click on it and should add a new section as you can see so let's just click on the dots right here and let's just drag it up just below the header right here and after that click on video slide below the video background section simply click on it and a new options will show up right here so obviously this says video link which is the video that you want to add to the banner obviously and there is two ways you can do this you can upload the video to your Shopify store in the file section then copy the link for it and paste it in here or you can do another trick which is uploading it to the third party website and copying the link and I mean you need to copy the directly the link that ends with .mp4 then paste it in here in my case I did outsource a video because just this for demonstration I did outsource a video and I did capture the link which ends with .mp4 and if you did upload the video to your Shopify files and you did paste it in here then Shopify store it loads really slow because the file is too big make sure you do compress the file first and this is just a bonus tip make sure you do install an app or a software called Handbrake I will put the link for it in the description box as well so the name for it is Handbrake and it's available on every platform and make sure you do use it to, co to compress the video so it has lower file size that way it will not affect the loading time of your Shopify store in my case I already have the file ready so let's just paste it in here and it will show you the link right here at the top of the URL and simply click on it and here we go as you can see this is the video that I did show you in the demonstration which is how your store will look like and after that you should see this option right here which is the cover image if you want to include the cover image however if you do pick a video you don't have to select a cover image obviously because the video will automatically start playing and it's a loop as you can see it keeps repeating you don't need actually uh, a cover for the video so in here it says the heading which is the heading for the title for example let's just type in subscribe please please make sure you do so or actually just a like okay just a like please anyway so this is the header and the text you can uh, change the description obviously and for example if you want to focus on some more in here for example text right here you can make it bold like this and it will be stronger just like you see right here below it is the option for the button and by the way if the background video is whiter or lighter color the text as white it will not show up really good or uh, people need to focus or people need to look closer in order to read the text and so on you can change the text color right here however it looks good in my case so I'm going to keep it as white and the button label right here which is what do you want to name the button and I'm going to name it shop now just like this then the button link where you want to redirect the customer once he clicks on the shop now and obviously to the product so let's just pick products in here and let's just click on all products so the customer once he clicks on the button it will redirect him to the old products on my Shopify store and in here the background color and it's white as you can see so let's just change the background to black for example just like this and text white as white it looks very good like this I think we are finished with the banner video so let's just click on save and I think that will look good now so let's just reload the page now and here we go just a like please <laughs> anyway so let's just hit over and change the header including the values and a layout a logo and the colors as well as this welcome to on how channel notification bar so let's just get back in here and click on header from the left menu in here then it will show you some options in here as you can see uh, which is the background scheme uh, the background colors sorry so the background color is obviously the background color for the header so let's just click on background one and you can select background two for example uh, which is the white, uh, white as well you can change these if you are interested in how to change these head over to this option right here which says team settings and click on it and click on colors after that and here they are you can change all the colors in here however I'm going to keep them just like that I don't need to change them and for the color I'm going to go with accent one I think yeah accent one black is this the same as the shop now button which is looks really good like this I think and this is a personal preference 
So make sure you pick whatever color it looks great for you. And in here for the logo, as you can see, it's only text because I didn't set a logo. You can click on select an image. Here is my logo I already uploaded. Just click on add image and upload the logo to your Shopify store. And mine is already uploaded. I'm going to select it. And you can select the size from here. You can drag this up. It will be much bigger as you can see. However, I, think, I do find it 160. It looks perfect as 160. So let's just keep it like this. And this time the logo position on large screens. For example, right now it's set as middle left. If I click on top center right here, it will be just like this as you can see. So I think both looks great like this. However, I'm gonna keep it as top center because the logo fits like this much much better. And the menu is obviously the menus in here. You can select main menu which is where we add all the menus where I showed you how to add the categories in here. So there is two types of menus by default, the footer menu and the main menu. The menu, the main menu is this one right here. And that's where I did add all the step categories. So I'm going to keep it as the main menu, obviously. And in here, show separate the line between the, the banner video that we did create and the header. I'm going to keep them enabled. And if you click on team settings right here, you can actually paste in the URLs for the social media or whatever you use for your Shopify store. Now, I don't have any, I'm gonna keep them like this. And let's just click on save because I think it looks fairly good like this. And as I said, this is a personal preference. So each one will think a different design looks better, obviously. And right now, let's just get over to the announcement bar right here, which is the last thing we need to edit. So let's just click on it. And after that it will show us obviously the text on it. I'm gonna keep it as this, which is welcome to on house store and the background color scheme and if you click on it, it will show you the same colors as the header and click on add background to it should change I think to the white as well. Yeah, that's the same color reverse. It will set the opposite color of your Shopify store, which is the background color, which is white in this case. That's why it's set it as black and accent one, which is the thing I did uh, customize or the accent two, I think. Yeah, this is the color accent two. And if you are wondering how I did change this or how it said the color looks like this, uh, let's just click on save first so we can keep it like this click on team settings right here on the left menu simply click on it and it will show you as i said the colors it shouldn't be look like this it, should, it will uh, look like this actually it will look like this then click on colors it will show you the colors and this one should be a gradient so just click on the gradient color and you can set the colors as you can see like this and it will change the gradient however you want so let's just do like this actually and you can change the circle like this so you can turn it around if you want the red one I want a little bit of red to it let's just drag it up yeah let's just keep it like this so let's just click on save button and let's just get back to our Shopify store and let's just reload the page and see how it looks like Ta -da! this is our new header on our Shopify store and just like the title says Please make sure to hit that like button if this video helped you all. As you can see, this is how our custom header looks like now. And as I said, this is just uh, testing Shopify store. If I'm working on this store, I will spend hours just in designing my Shopify store. So everything will be perfecto like the Spanish says. So that's how you create and customize custom header on your Shopify store. As I said, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.